Eve, evening. I'm sorry, I'm late. I was back, I was checking some um Facebook pages, and I got a bit distracted. Hi there, everyone. Hi there, Sarah. SG. Who else? Make a difference. Hello. I noticed you've been talking about the FB, FBI in Tennessee. I saw I saw that news update about that. So I hope you can all hear me. I did do a quick check before I come online. Anyway, who we got here? Right, give me a second. I've just got to go and get my phone. Oh, yeah. No, no, I was just going online. Hold on. Oh, I just got a mute. Sorry about that, everyone. That was my daughter-in-law. Um, my granddaughter's had to go up the hospital. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. It's just that my son was clipping her fingernails last night, and he caught as as he's clipped the one, she's moved her hand, and it caught some skin. So they cleaned it, put a plaster on it. Right. Checked it again this morning. Everything seemed fine. She went to nursery, come home from nursery. They checked it again to put a fresh plaster on it and clean it. And it was still bleeding. So we took her up to the hospital just to get it checked out. For flipping out. Trust my son. I could give him my phone vibrating. It was in the bedroom. I thought, what's that noise I can hear? Then I realised what it was. But I said, let us know what happens. I said, I'll probably be on my live, but you can um, just come on my live and put a message on my live. <laughs> so, um, no, it's nothing serious. She's accident prone. I think she's she's a lot like my daughter. So, my daughter was always, always, I was at one point in my life where I was going to book an appointment for her for six months' time. Because I knew within six months 
she would do something else, like run down the hall and smack into a door or whatever. She was always having accidents. And I was always running up and back and forth to hospitals with her. So, you wait till I see my son. Hi, SRB. Right, hold on, I've just got to get my YouTube up on my phone. Oh, God. Come on. My phone plays up, it won't let me use it, or oh, swipe up for me. So, and to answer my calls, I have to swipe my phone up, yeah? And I'm sitting here, some guy's trying to answer my phone, and it won't let me swipe up to answer it. So I have to go back and um, let it just ring off, so I can phone them back. Yes, my two my cougars are here. Right. Oh, come on. Come on. So, let me just hook this up now. That's no. So, I'm just trying to get my phone in the right position. Right. My sole attention is here. How you all been today? Been pretty quiet, I must admit, on the YouTube streets, I think. But I just read a comment on one of the Facebook pages. And it said, hang on, I think I can pull it I can read it. Uh, where is he? Mm -hmm. But anyway, she basically said, uh, I heard on some YouTube channels that the uh, video, the bike ride and the video wasn't that good. It was a bit disappointing. And I went, I went and I, I put a comment, I said, wow. Well, there was over 200 people there for the bike ride. And there's others at the vigil, at the church, at the school. I said, so I'd like to know who you're getting, your, what YouTubers, where these YouTubers are getting this information from. I said, oh, they could be the YouTubers that are partial to CP and KP. Because CP did put out something. Hey, Bob, Gail, E. Hi there. CP did put out something in that interview he did on Cluminati or Cluminati or whatever it is, right? That he didn't think this vigil, this bike ride would be that good. And I thought, it was good. Yeah, it was a great turnout, I thought. And yet, apparently, she's heard from YouTubers that it wasn't. I thought, so that's why I put that comment up there saying, I'd like to know what YouTubers, where you, these YouTubers are getting this information from. They obviously didn't watch it then, if that's what they think. You know what I mean? Yeah, cleaning out is, uh, but this wasn't a post by her, this was a post by someone else. So unless she's heard it from that YouTuber, possibly. So, <laughs> I don't know, it's, I think it did two interviews as well with two news news stations and I posted one on my Facebook page. It is very possible, isn't it, that she's heard it on that one. And there's ever you there's ever YouTubers that support CP and KP. So 
I don't support, it's not that I don't support them, right? I just don't believe them. I just don't believe anything they are saying. Because what they are saying from day one does not add up. Does not add up, does not make sense. How can a child leave the house without leaving any scent, any trace, anything as to where he's going? If he had planned this, I'm sure he would have planned it and thought, right, I need my money that is saved up in his room. I'll take my money. I'll get my phone. I'll take my switch because he likes to play his switch. And I'll put shoes on. Oh, and before I go, I'll just put a few snacks in my bag. You know what I mean, sort of thing. Because that's the sort of thing I would have been doing if I was at 15. No way I'd have been walking out my house without some snacks in a bag, juice, money. Well, I wouldn't have had a phone then when I was that age. No, there weren't no mobile phones then. Money. But I definitely would have had shoes on. So, it's just hard, it's not like I don't, I don't support them, I just don't trust them. Right, okay, Seth went ballistic the other day, fine. He's got a reason to, he's going through phases, right, you know when you, you lose someone, right, and you're going through grief, there's phases you go through. And he's going through that at the moment. It's like he's angry because he's getting no information off law enforcement. He's getting no help off anyone. And whatever information he is getting, it's turning out to be lies. I was watching, someone shared it on one of the Facebook pages. I watched it this morning. And it was, an inter I think it was on TikTok, fecking out that app, right? And it was uh, Tony doing an interview on a, on someone's TikTok, I believe, or on his own TikTok page, I don't know. And I must admit, it seemed, it was after the vigil last night. So, it's, it was very calm. You know what I mean? It was, I didn't hear him say anything at, which shouldn't have been said. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't shout at, spell out anything like, oh, well, Seth found this out, or we found this out today. You know what I mean? He hasn't said nothing like that. So, I thought I'll sit and listen to this one because it isn't full of BS as normal. But apparently, he did agree to Seth going up on that uh, Smiley's live. Because he knew Seth needed to get it off his chest. Well, I'm sorry. That is not the place to get something off your chest. If you're mad, if you're angry, buy, go and buy one of them punch bags. Which stands from the ground up. Not one from the ceiling down, one from the ground up. Which you can punch the hell out of. Kick the hell out of. Oh, yeah, Ellie. You know what I mean? Take your anger out on that. Put a picture of that person or persons that have got you mad. Stick it on there. And then punch and kick the crap out of that. But don't go on alive. And Tony should never have agreed to let him go on it. Yeah. So Tony was at fault again that night. So Tony's got to pull himself in, reel himself in. 
because he said it is not um oh his position with Seth isn't where he'd get any information about the case. Well no one's getting any information about the case, Tony. No one. News flash, no one. Right? And he said, so I can't really answer questions on that part. I thought, well, it hasn't stopped you before, has it, Tony? I thought they had found kids, found kids too last time. Yeah, FBI might be doing work like that, tracking down traffickers and all that lot. But who's helping children like Sebastian? You know what I mean? Who's there? Because law enforcement aren't doing nothing. They're just waiting for that big tip to come in and open the case wide open. Bust the case, case wide open. They said it as much in, in words in that last press interview they did. So law enforcement aren't doing anything. And searches are supposed to start back up next next weekend. So, but they won't tell you where the searches are going to be. They won't tell us that. And I don't, I'll be surprised if they do. Because as soon as they put out where they're doing a search, you know you got to get these people who are against them finding, this, uh, finding Sebastian. You know you're going to get them people following them. Intimidating them, threatening them, even. It is wrong to encourage your alleged client to cause a scene in public eye. Tony should, should, should give a rise for a public meeting. Yes, he should. Yes, I think someone will slip up on Seb, on Seb. but there's nothing around the neighbourhood. No, I'm thinking, because every time, I've noticed it now twice, in two of their interviews, the first interview they did, and the last, the other, one of the other interviews they did, with a YouTuber, right, when Chris mentioned that Seth lived in Clarksville, Where's this person from? Do you mean me, Christina? I'm from Birmingham, UK. By the way, hello, Christina. Right. I'm thinking, have they discarded him somewhere around that way? So that if his body is found up there, they can say, well, he's making his way to his dad's. He did run off, see? He was making his way to his dad's. Yeah, if you're wanting your own from, I'm from Birmingham in the UK. And that's my accent, the brummy accent. Yeah, because every time they mention Clarksville, she'll nudge him. She nudges him, as though to say, don't say that, because now people will start looking that way. But I think they want us to go look that way, so that if he is found, they can say, see, told you run away, he's making his way to his dad's, he knows his way to his dad's. And what was the two routes they said he knows his way to? The um, the ice cream place and, and his dad's. Or whatever, whatever black place is. But one of them was his dad's. He knew his way to his dad's. But as I pointed out on the map, if he was to walk there, it would have took him 18 hours. And that's without having any 
little sleep or break or sit down or anything like that. Well, it took him 16, 18 hours. But I think we need, someone needs to concentrate on that area to Clarksville. Right, but there's two ways, because there's one way you can go, and then there's another route you can take, right? So they need to clear one first, clear one route, and then go and do the other route. Because I seriously think he might be somewhere along that way. Even though there is a woman who lives up that way, between between um, Hengersonville and Clarksville, they must own a farm or something, because she said her and her family or friends go out on horseback, riding up and down that route and around that area every, every day. Every, every day they go up on their horses looking. Right? Hi, Robin. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. We're a friendly uh, group of people in here. We don't have no drama. <laughs> so, and everyone has is entitled to their opinions, you know what I mean? We don't have to agree with you, but we're entitled to your, you're entitled to your opinions. So, but yeah, don't you think it's strange though in the interviews every time he mentions Clarksville, she'll nudge him. Right, so I might try and get in touch with the woman with the dogs. Jules, is he? I've seen her do it twice, SRB. Once in the first interview she did with the news real news people. And once in that interview she did with the uh, YouTuber. Where are you from? Hello. So, it's just too much. Everyone's focusing on going towards Mississippi. Right. So, I think we need to focus on going towards Clarksville. Because he keeps saying, when the truth comes out, you'll all be surprised. You're, oh, you're from Missouri, are you? Christina. Oh. Right, so um, I might get a, a message to Jones. A Facebook page is now open. You're from the UK, Ellie. Where about Ellie now? Where are you from? In the UK? So, um, be interesting to find that out, wouldn't it? To see if that, if it was. So, we'll see. I'll try and get a message to her. She is, she's lovely, isn't she? And I, I love her. I love the name of that one dog, Ara. Armed and ready to assassinate. Oh, London. We've got a Londoner. Yeah, it, I said that. If he was going to go to his dad's, he'd have to walk along the road. Absolutely no sighting along the road. 
No. But what if they put him in the woods somewhere, right? And then is they could put him is if he has passed, right? And they find him and he's not alive. They could say, well, it could possibly die of hypothermia. I know. I said, if ever I get another dog, I'm going to call it Ara. I'm ready to assassinate. So, but I could get another cat and get a nice ferocious cat. Put these two cats in the place <laughs> and call that Ara. <laughs> Gator is an alligator. He's the one, Gator is the one who can sniff out uh, me medicines and illegal drugs. If he's still with us, he's with some KP's family. You know what? I don't... I don't want to say this, but I don't think he is. I think something happened because in that first interview she did with the news people, she was rocking back and forth and she kept having to think about what she had to say. If you watch it carefully, you just watch her reaction. She's rocking back. She's upset, right? Yes, yeah, she's upset because her son has passed. Her son has died. And she wants to tell the truth. But for some reason... Chris won't let her tell the truth. For some stupid reason, I don't know why, because it's not going to help his case with Faith having a missing child. Yes. If he's found, he'll talk. And then they'll have all the court proceedings, like, who's going to get uh, custody of um, of Sebastian? You know what I mean? Oh, you got a big old carrier? Nice. Okay. She was deceptive. Yeah. But I just feel she was, like, doing that work. She was upset. You could tell she was upset. Right? But she was like, as I said the other night, I said many times I've been in a room and I've known something about someone. Right? Like a surprise. Is someone's told me something and I'm not to tell them. Right? It's a surprise. And I've sat there and I've literally had to sit on my hands. And I'm sitting there and I'm rocking back and forth. And this person is saying, it could be for a birthday or something. Like, I don't know what's going to happen for my birthday. And I'm going, hmm. And I'm rocking back and forth because I really want to tell her, but I can't. Did you discuss the possibility Chloe fired so she wouldn't, she wouldn't get Vectonia? I don't know. I think it was not so much Tony. I think it was more the other person that wanted to bring in or want to bring in on the case. That Nina Glass. And I'll tell you something, I've seen a post. Right? Has everyone seen that video of Nina about on Trev Time? Yeah? The ex wife. Yeah? If there was an accident at home, a normal person would call 999. Not call your husband and say, he's gone, our son is gone. That's the first thing. Exactly. Right? Well, if you've seen that video on Trev Time of Nina, you know what she looks like. Yeah? And if you've seen pictures of Nina Glass, you know what she looks like. Someone put a post up saying, oh my God, I think it's, I can't remember, it was a YouTuber. They shared it from a YouTube, off a YouTuber's channel. Or they shared the YouTuber's channel. I'm not going to say 
pardon me, I'm not going to sell a YouTuber. And I said, and it goes, Nina Glass is Chris P CP's ex-wife. I, I thought, what? What? They don't look like each of that. They don't look nothing like any, either of them. You know what I mean? They're two different people. Where the hell has this YouTuber got this information from? I don't know why he walked out that door, closes her eyes as if too painful to recall. Yes. Yes. But it's just the fact they're so adamant he walked out that door. Oh, yeah, I've just jumped some. I saw that. It was. It was. It was ridiculous. How come Caleb Harris family doesn't seem to have anything to do with Tony Mathis now? Well, he's still working with them. He's still got them working with them. I guess that shouldn't surprise me then. And this isn't exactly a good time for a court to hang over a child, so maybe they are putting it on hold. Well, this is what people have been saying to Seth, why he needed to get a lawyer. He needed to get all this in place, ready for when Sebastian come home. Because they're not going to hang Sebastian over to either of the parents. You know what I mean? They're going to want to know why he walked away, why he went missing, why he never got in touch with anyone. Ah, oh. jeez. There's no proof he walked out any door, no, so why are they so adamant he walked out that door? It's a bit like, has anyone heard about the Magdalene McCann case, the little girl that went missing abroad in a, some foreign country? Port de Luz, Port de Luz, right? Her mum and dad were so adamant that she'd been abducted, adamant from the, from the very beginning. No no possibility of her getting out of the bedroom and walking out the patio doors and down onto the road. No possibility of that. No, no, no. She was abducted. Here. No possibility of him being abducted, but adamant he walked out that door. So, so argument about, and I can't, I, I can't get my head around that. Like, why, if if I was a mother and I lost a child, right? My first thing wouldn't come is being abducted. That would not even cross my mind, right? The second thing is, could they, could they have gone out that door, right? But then, why would they go out that door? would be my third question. If they went out that door, but why? Why would they go out that door? Did someone did someone entice them out from outside, like message them on the phone or on his uh, whatever he uses? You know what I mean? Had they made plans to meet up with someone? But they are adamant he walked out that door. <coughs> <coughs> I think the reason they are so adamant about that is because it takes the attention off any other way he could have gone out of that house. And the only other way he could have got out of that house is through the garage. Yeah, well, that's why... I'm, I said I'm going back to the beginning with this case, right? A few days, about a week ago. So that's it. I'm off the crazy crack train. We're going back to the beginning. And that's what I'm doing tonight. We're going back to that uh, dispatch call. And it's the 11 hour one, but it's really, it doesn't take 11 hours.
exactly. Why don't, if a parent is not willing to even think of another possibility as to why their child was not in their room, and they're so adamant on one set thing, that throws a red flag up to me. Sounded to me like CP hinted that there was a cam inside the house, and that's why they say that. I'm not sure I believe in them. Hmm. God is always with you today. Hello. Well, I just think that if we go over it again, right, if we go over the case again from the beginning, you you tend to, you might think, oh, God, I've seen this video so many times. I've heard this audio so many times. But have you actually listened? Have you actively listened? You know what I mean? That is something I learned when I was trained as a, when I did my access course to counselling, into counselling. And one part is to actively listen. Anyone can sit there and say, yeah, I listen to them, I listen to them. But did you actually actively listen? Did you take the words in? What was being said? So that's why I like to go over videos again and again. Because each time you'll hear, you'll find something else out. So that is why I'm going. Oh, no. I think it is a deflection. I think by saying, being adamant about going out that front door, it's a deflection. He didn't go out that front door. He went out the garageway in the car. Right? And if they had him wrapped up in something, right? Yeah? Would it leave a, a, the scent of a dead body? Because they can always say, they can always say, well, he's always in the car. So that's another reason. Right? Yes, if you close your eyes and you, like, you know the deception detective? He prefers not to watch videos. He prefers to just listen to them. Because that's when he act, he's actively listening. And he picks up on these key words. Well, someone in my chat oh, a while ago said, if he walked out that door, right, if, right, with shoes on or no shoes on, during the night, when the temperature drops, just it only has to drop a little bit, you get a dew. You get a dew on the grass, yes? The grass is always feeling damp on your feet first thing in the morning. Would there not have been any footprints leading from that front door around the house or to wherever? Would there not be, not be, not be any footprints? There would be. You, If you've got a grass in your garden, just do it one morning. Why? Before the sun comes up, before it gets, the grass dries up. Right? If you live in a place where you get that chewiness in the morning, just walk out in your garden, shoes on or no shoes on, and then see why it leaves. It will lead, leave a track. There's open child per protective services case too. CP said 13 or 18 dogs. That's a big difference in number. Uh, did anyone else catch what he said in that interview as well? He said on that, not recluming at him. He said he hasn't got the time for something, for some things, right? 
because he, he spends it with his family and children. What children? Something like that. He, said, he mentioned children in it. And I thought, what children? You haven't got no children. Right? And then someone else has mentioned today. I don't think this is, though. I don't think this is true. Could KP be pregnant again? Right? And now she's starting to show. That is why we're not seeing anything. Exactly. So how, well, so how could you be spending time with Katie and his kids? What kids? He hasn't got his daughter. Sebastian is missing. But honest, you go out in your garden on grass, you'll leave a footprint. And it wasn't until this woman on here said it, mentioned it, I thought, you know what? You do leave a footprint when you're on dewy grass. It's not wet, it's just dewy, where the dew has settled on the grass, on the top of the grass, and it leaves a footprint. So wouldn't there have been something like that? Well, I know as a parent you wouldn't be looking for that, would you? You heard that rumour about KP being pregnant, SG? I only heard about that today. It was in some on, fa on, on one of the Facebook pages. And I thought, hmm, could she be pregnant? But then again, I thought, no, because if she is, she's drinking. Because on that phone call when he did that really nasty phone call, she was in the background and she was drunk. You could tell she was drunk. And then on that interview he did the other, night, the other night, she burst in on the conversation for about 30 seconds. And they said she sounded drunk then. Right? So I think she's on medication and she's getting drinking as well. She's going to lose it. As I said, get her off that medication. Take her off the medication. She'll feckin' talk like a parrot then. She'll squeal like a little piggy. The medication is keeping her calm. Exact. Well, that's another thing. If the ca if there's a camera footage uh, showing that Sebastian's light was going on and off for about fifteen minutes, right? Would that camera not, caught, not have caught someone leaving the front door? So, I just think it's weird, the whole thing. So, there's, I don't, there's no way, because they're so adamant, like, I don't know why he walked out that door. I don't know. I, I just don't know why he walked out that door. Now I'd be going, if it's my child, I'd be going, but how, why would he walk out that door and, you know, if he walked, if I had a child who walked, just left home during the night, right, and he had took his shoes or whatever, right, and my answer would be, my question would be, but, but why would he leave? Why would he leave? Exactly. He's got no family. All he's got is Katie and his mum and his dad. Oh, and his sisters. And he can control Katie because Katie's got no family. Katie's got no family, has, has she? So he can control her. She can't go running off to her mummy. Like most women, if they're having a bust up with the husband. That's it, I'm out of here. F you. Walk out the door and go to the parents, yeah? Well, I didn't. I used to just go to a friend's house. <laughs> right, then come back about three hours later. Three, four hours later. Anyway, so, um, 
my husband was the one who would go running to my mummy. Yeah, he used to go running. He went running to my mum once because we had a bus stop at his mum's. We had a big bus stop. So on the way home, I've got the kids. I went, come on, you two. This way, and we're, rushing, we're walking up. And we're leaving him behind. I don't, I don't care. Just keep walking. We're going to get that bus home. Right? And he gets on the same bus as us, and I'll get off the bus, and I go in the house and shut the door on him. Right? I shut the door on him. He didn't have his keys, so we couldn't get in. So he then left and went to my mum's and brought my mum and dad into it. Right? Knowing that I would let him in the house if he was with my mum and dad. So, anyway, we're talking. My mum and dad turned up, so he's coming. And then after my mum and dad left, he sat there with this smirk on his face. Hmm, I won. And I turned around and said, you know what? You better wipe that smirk off your face before I knock it off your fucking face. Because if it wasn't for my mum, you wouldn't be sitting here now. And it just annoyed me that it went running to my mum. So she's got no one she can go running to, has she? He hinted was supposed to be in Seb's room, really. Within 15-year-old, that is against the law unless he was bedridden. Bedroom and bathroom are two places you don't put them because be like, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Ellie, if it's premeditated, she would, she could have washed his clothes. That's why Jules, I think it was Jules, said the best item to use. I think it was Jules. It's someone, I heard someone say, the best item to use for a dog in, to get the scent is a shoe, the insole of a shoe. Because clothes, they get washed, they get dried, they get folded, ironed, whatever. They get manhandled. So you've got touch DNA, right, on everything. But the insoles of the shoe, you don't get touch DNA off. I think if we add two and two together, we're going to get 20. Uh, no, two and two is four. We're well ahead of you, CP. We're not, we're not stupid. We, not, we may not be professionals. We may not have the qualifications behind us. You know what I mean? What we can tell when someone is lying. I've had 58 years of it, so... You know what I mean? So I know when someone's lying. Well, me, if, if I did something wrong, I am the first, right, to put my hand up. Now, when I used to work as a community care worker, <coughs> I worked on my own. I worked by myself as a single. A cast you as what a single worker, right? But then when I moved to somewhere else in Scotland, right, with the same company but to another town, they put me in with another person. And I said to my supervisor, I said, get me off this, get me a single, what we used to call a single room, where it was one person went to do the physics. I said, I cannot work. In, with another person I said because if anything goes wrong they're not putting their hands up they're blaming me and I'm not doing nothing wrong I said well if I do something wrong I said my fault my hands go straight up KP could have snapped and locked him out and he, he wandered off that's been my theory from day one possible <clears throat> but my theory is KP snapped. They've had a, a like a, and she's been shouting at him or 
whatever to go to sleep, get in your bed, no, get to bed, just go to bed. He wasn't sleeping, the medication wasn't working, he'd been overstimulated the whole day, which Chris said he wasn't, that is BS. Right, it's autistic lad and you take him to get groceries, you take him to BJ's, you take him bowling, then you take him for dinner at the steakhouse. That's overload. Because they do see it, but it's only watching out evidence. What is it? Um, circumstantial evidence. It's, it's not proof that they've done anything to Sebastian. She filed for divorce, oh, hold on, according to a latest post, she filed for divorce on February 26th from Seth. Seth disappeared on February 26th. Oh, God. Hold on. From Seth. Seth disappeared on... Hi Tracy. I don't know. That. I don't understand that. What do you mean she filed for divorce on February the twenty sixth from Seth? February the twenty sixth, she wasn't even with Seth. Or oh, oh, do you mean the year that she filed it was on February the twenty sixth? Hmm, good man. As I said, they probably are seeing these lies because they, they cannot say they're not. But it's all circumstantial. It's, all these lies does not mean they've done anything to Sebastian. All right. I think it fell on the same day, sort of thing. So. Anyway, let's pull this up. Where is it? Oh, God. Right. Okay. So right, it's just a black screen at the moment, but it is set to go. Um, so we're going to listen to the dispatch call. As I said, just listen to it, right? And then when I stop it, which I will, I'll stop it periodically. Right, not all, not every five minutes, not every minute or so, every couple of minutes. Right, when I feel it needs to be stopped, then tell us what you think, okay? Three one here, working my guys, but one hundred twenty down. I'm going to be wearing a black sweatshirt, black sweatpants. Two models have a permit clause with them. This person I have it, that's going to be in the home before midnight. The doors are locked at this time. Did four now? Central to forty seven one eighty four and twelve. Two now. My sister's at the house. The mother is driving around looking for him in a Victoria Place subdivision, and she is driving. Juvenile. I think the 
I actually track back up going into the construction site over here back towards the beach. That's awful muddy. Do you see any folks threats or anything? Couldn't have any shoes. I do have some foot rentals. Right there where you're standing? Yeah. Leading right over here to the retaining. No shoes, just foot rentals. He literally dove into it. Next led me straight to the retaining pond. Behind the door, he dove into the water. Got any shoes? Foot rentals around it? There was a few uh, footprints in some of the softer dirt uh, headed straight this way on the track that he was running. Do we have a picture yet? That's some cool. What was that heat signature at? Where the real craft is, where the trees are, 25 feet maybe out in the middle. Hey guys, the construction zone, there's another pond. There's some ice. Standing in the woods, it's a, it looks like a person. It is a person we know, but there's another pond. He's standing back there by himself. Past the construction zone in the same area back there. Uh, yeah, the, the north end of it, yeah. Now the machine goes straight back. There's a, there's a person in the woods uh, by that pond. There's the house on the other side of the tree line. Going back toward beach or going on the back side. Yeah, on the back side, and he's not moving. He's just standing there by himself in the woods. It's Hendersonville 517. I'm on the northeast corner in the cemetery across the tree line. Am I close? No, the back side. Sneaky if you can. Do you have anybody there with you? Stand by. Uh, let me see if I can find them on my map. I got my drone ground for the moment, and I'll see if I can do it. Bear gets over. One or two. I'm in my truck. Two, there's four of us on foot coming across the yard. Start directions. Nice things on the screen. Straight in, straight in. Keep it on. <laughs> go left, go left. Did you come back? You passed it. There's an opposite the road. Won't be there. Won't block where you're going. Into the woods, it's woods. You should be about 15 foot from it. What's the channel's first name? You should be all over it, whatever it is right there. The two people walking the woods. It's a mannequin. Sorry, guys. What's not? Hi, hello, um, cuz, hello. Um, oh, the mannequin. Yeah, that, I think that was used as a, a target practice thing, you know what I mean? My first question is, this is the dispatch call, yes? Well, did he not phone the sheriff's office direct? Because they would, they should have, and they did, then direct him to the dispatch caller. And the dispatch caller then put the call out. He said he phoned about 20 past 6, somewhere around about 20 past 6. I don't know if you remember, if you heard it on here, he said the call came in at 6.39. So that's like, what, 19 minutes difference? And they said she was driving around. Now, she was only driving for 10 minutes, so that call came in at 6.39. Yeah. I mean, this dispatch call went out. What time did she leave the house to go and look for Sebastian? So, that was my one question, is if this is a dispatch call, it's not from the sheriff's office, it's from the dispatcher. So they've had to direct, him to, direct the call to the dispatcher, which they're supposed to do anyway. Exactly. He said he called the sheriff's office because of where he was, right? But why didn't Katie call the police? Because if my son or child was not in their bedroom, 
right? The first thing I do, as I'm looking for him, as I'm going around the house or running outside looking for him, I'd be on that phone to 911, right? And then they direct you to, the dispatcher will call direct you to whoever, yeah? We'll, disp well, we'll direct the uh, police from whatever area they're supposed to come from. So, um, what was I going to say? So, because he was out of the area, he phoned the sheriff's office directly. Now, I heard the sheriff's office don't open till, I think it was 8 a.m. We don't know. We don't know anything, to be honest with you, because everything they are telling us, CP and KP, don't make sense. Right, but it was a three-way call. But he put her, he, t he put her on mute, or he told her to mute the call, so that they wouldn't hear her. So it doesn't make sense to have a three-way call. And there again, there's the number three three-way call, right? Number three comes up in this case a lot, a lot at the beginning. It's like that 3am 3, 3 video with the lights, right? The three-way call. It, it just does not make sense to me. Right, what's he saying? And they're not defending CP, but he... Is he? Maybe. I have to know. Yes, that's why he phoned the sheriff's office direct, because he was out outside of Hendersonville. But why did he phone? Why didn't he say, Katie, I'm going to hang up. You phone the police now. Why did she not phone at five past six while she's hunting that house everywhere? I'd be on the phone. And they'd hear me literally opening the doors to every room, every cupboard, right? They'd hear me on the phone doing this. Right? CEO said Saturday night that he called his mum to be... Yeah, CP, you mean, said Saturday night, said that he called his mum to be okay at that moment. No, I had a feeling he phoned his mum. I said that in one of my lives. I said it wouldn't surprise me if he phoned his mum to be with Katie. But then again, I don't know. How could his mum be involved if there was a handover? How could she be there when the police got there? You know what I mean? Or even shortly after the police, because the police were there at like quarter to seven, ten to seven. And if they did a handover to her, then I don't know. I don't know how it could work. Three way call and KP on mute. Make, it doesn't make sense, does it, to have a three way call and then put the other one on mute? All I can think is maybe because she was driving and looking, it would have been better for her. Well, she should have phoned before she even got in the flipping car. So, she should have phoned before she got in the car. But it just, if she's that upset, why would you go off driving anyway? You could have hit someone. If she's that upset and frantic. I 
Exactly. Well, that's what I said. If it was a three-way call, why did you tell her to go home because the police were coming? Would she not know that already? I think I would have called right away and as well as but my kid is a tiny car. That means she's frantic, but she's getting a car. She can't phone the police but she's because she's so frantic and upset but she can drive a car. But exactly, just because she's on mute, it just means they can't hear her. It doesn't mean she can't hear them. Right? So, anyway, Luella, let's continue. You look just like a person from the air. What's the name of the child that we're looking for? First name is Ben. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? First name is Ben. Last clothing description was black sweatpants with a white stripe, black long sleeve t shirt with a friend. Nikki, how many drones do you all have up? One at the moment. I'll be online ground so I can get started. Up a while. Really? I'll be back in the air momentarily. 20 hours central, I'm thinking. But two out here will be. And for has anybody been there since the initial? There's a whole bunch of people here now. Four in the mall. Can you help me listen to the radio on the north end until we wrap this up, please? Yes, sir. Brandon, you've got uh, Andersonville Mountain Patrol coming up there, and Joe's sending some more cars. I want if we can start from the beginning in the original house and set up a new plan up there. Yeah, boy, that's what we're doing now, sir. Thank you. One dog you as a neighbor advised that he's found the child under his child, under his son's car, which is across the street, two doors up. So be sure and search under cars and under things. Who do you want to go with this other canine search and rescue? I just talked to the GC, the construction back here. He's going to start getting the word out to all his crews that are out here working. Everybody, four to one thousand. So we can get a game plan and reconvene. Hey, Burgett, can you put a drone right over top of this trash can, this dumpster, if there's anything in it? One eighty-eight. Van 184 is going to send you a picture. You send out a code red for 1008 Stafford. Code red was sent out at 0745 this morning. 24. Um, we will send that in good. Can we retry that, please? 24, will it? 12 to 188. Go ahead, sir. Can you come to 1008, please? 24. 12 to any units that are going to be assisting with 1008. Please come to 1008 Stafford Court now, please. So we're at the beginning of Kelly Lane 1000. We're going to work our way north of Kelly Lane. That's fine. I'll get these two houses right here and we'll take the right. And because it wasn't fake, it wasn't. This is the actual. Uh, all I've done is I've uh, cleared up all that, cleared all the fuzzing S off it. The person who's done this has cleared all the fuzzing S, all that background noise off it. As your sheriff's office open 24 7. <coughs> people who, the people who say this is people who, are who believe Chris and Katie. Because I know for a fact Chris was not happy this call got released. Because he thought by going through direct to the sheriff's office, because he didn't phone 911, it wouldn't get recorded. But it has. The dispatch call was recorded.
Yeah, some people just love drama and conspiracy theories. <laughs> I'm steering clear from a lot, quite a few channels at the moment. Well, thank God for that, Ellie. True, most crimes are at night. Who's 40? Oh, your son. Your child. <laughs> Sorry. I'm thinking who's 40 then when you said that. <laughs> right. I've never, I, to be honest with you, I've never had that with my kids. Thank you, SRB. Thank you for that. You know what I mean? I've never had that problem where my kids have just... Well, I did. I had a situation once when my son had disappeared. And he was with a group of friends just around the corner from us. So I went up to his mum. I said, where's all the kids gone? Oh, they've gone up to this park. Now, it was a park I did not like my son. Did not want my son going to. Right? So I said, okay, thank you. So I've come back to the house, and I think, I, I can't remember, I grabbed my keys, that's it, to shut the door, and I was just about to walk up, started walking up the road, when I come down the road, I went, you, get in that house now. Right? He knew he was out of order, because he didn't tell me where he was going. Right? Because he knew, if he told me where he was going, I'd have said, no, you're not going up there. You're not going that park. So, because he went to a neighbour's on my dad's and man, man talk about panic. I was pulling the phone out to call when we found that. Well, that's it. I, if, I think if I hadn't seen my son when I did, if he hadn't come round that corner when he, when he did, I would have been phoning the police. You know what I mean? He never done it again. I live in a town about oh, 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 twenty four seven calling on one that is counting. All oh, right. Oh God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, I, I remember once we was in town and I was with his mum and his dad with my grandson, right? And I think they had Olivia at the time. And I went, where's Ellis? And I went, oh, he's with his dad. So I've walked out this one section of the store. So saw his dad. I said, where's your son? And he looked around. I don't know. I went, are you kidding me? I am running through this store like a mad woman. Like a mad woman. And I got outside. And outside the store was like some leather chairs you can sit on. And he was sitting there. I went, what are you doing out here? Why did you walk away from your mum and your dad and me? And that is because he don't like the stores. He's, he's not one for going shopping. And I, honest to God, I was like a mad woman. My son must have thought, what the hell's going on? Because I just literally left him standing. You know what I mean? 
And he said, oh, he always goes out there. I said, I don't care if he always goes out there. He shouldn't be going out there. He should be with either you or his mum. He should not be allowed to just go out that sh store. You know what I mean? But, oh, my Lord. But now, that's why I say to him, just say, what? just go tell him you're going to one store. And then when you come out of that store, say, right, well, we'll go to this store. You go to that store. If you don't tell him, give him a plan of action, one item at a time. Right? If you say, oh, well, we got to go to this shop, this shop, this shop, and this shop, you, you know, it's just going to kick off. He won't have it. Because he don't like, it's all the noise and the sounds. It's too much for him. So I tend to sit outside with him if I'm with, if I'm with him and they're in town. Same as my daughter. I'm with her, and she's going around the shops. I'll sit with her son outside, because he's not one for walking around shops either. <laughs> oh God! But I'm just so. And my daughter said, "Well, put reins on him." I said. I'm not putting reins on a lot. I think it was five, four or five, then about four, I think it was, four or five. Between four and five. I said, I'm not putting reins on him. He's got a mum and a dad here who should be holding on to him, keeping an eye on him. You know what I mean? He shouldn't be left, you know what I mean? So, they're not so bad. It's not so bad now because when they do go into town, they go, he's now at school. So they tend to go, if they have to go into town, they're going in the morning before they pick him up for his lunch because he comes home for his lunch. And then they go in the morning. So they don't have either of the children with them now when they go shopping because Alice is not, not one for shopping, really not. Well, I... I don't know what if you used to do. Well, I've I used to use pub, I use public transport a lot, and when my kids were little, I used to do the same. Even when my husband had the car, he had the car. He took it to work. So if we went anywhere, anywhere, me and the kids, it'd be public transport. And I remember once I was with my friend, and she had her four kids with her. And I think there's a like me, and my two of my friends. And they all had their kids. So I was going, one, two. As they're getting off, I stood at the front of the bus. I'm going, one, two, three, four, five. Counting them as they got off. Because my mum used to do the same because she had seven of us. And she took us, like, my dad had the car. So if we went anywhere in the day, it was in public transport. Right? She had seven kids. So she used to do the head count. As we was getting on the bus or off the bus, or on a train, whatever we was using, it was a head count. So, but I'm I'm like this woman possessed if a child if my grandkids go missing. It's like where? Oh, and I remember once my daughter wanted to use her store card to get. I don't know what they do, but. The signal in this door wasn't very good, right? So she goes to me, Mom, take my phone, hold my phone, and take my phone outside the store so you can get a signal, so you can get this app open. I'm, I'm not one for shops. I hate going shopping. I hate crowds, right? And I'm trying to get through this crowd of people to get out of this store so I can get this app up so that I can get back in through all these people to give her the phone so the app would open. I went, did you have to send me out? I said, I've got, I had to get through all those crazy people. And then I've had to come all the way back through those crazy people. No, no, my mum, I'm like me. I learnt from my mum. My mum... Just because she, she did go to learn to drive, but then something happened and she stopped taking lessons for some reason. 
But she never stopped us, her from taking us out somewhere or places. We just get on the bus or a train or whatever. And I was the same. I used to just come on, your dad's at work. We're getting the bus. Oh God, I don't go in them. I try not to go in them sort of shops. I hate shops full stop. So don't even go there. I hate shops. I hate shopping. Oh, what happened then? Right. Uh, the white Ford truck that the Hendersonville officer's house that's with me. Or, no, that house hasn't been checked. The next house up from me, the, see the white Ford in the driveway? Oh, you are okay. okay, uh, never on Facebook page. Oh, God, something's gone wrong with my stream yard. What's happening? Come on. Why won't my stream yard come up? Where's my stream yard? My stream yard isn't opening up properly, and I don't know why. It's not showing me the screen. Oh, God. Stay where you are. I've got a log out. I'll be right back. I can't because otherwise I'll end the stream. What the hell is going on? I don't know what's happening here. Oh, God, in hell. Why is this? Playing up. Leave. That something went wrong with my stream yard. I was I seen the chat but I wasn't getting the screen. So I had to log go out and come back in. Yeah, I said stay where you are. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you for that. Right, I'll get the uh Is this it yeah. I abide. <laughs> Jacket. Oh, my Approximately God. two hours ago. Three for my own. 139 World End has a camera, but nobody's answering the door. Uh, he had some ties at White House High School, and every time he got in trouble, he wanted to go back to the White House, so I notified the White House meeting, and we're notifying this so. early. His one. His way out with the camera is correct. It's difficult. Nobody's answering, nobody's home. Address. You look good, Wangus. I just want a registration check on testing time. I'm so sorry. Access factory 2012, BMW, Registered. Have address. Confirm NSR. Greg, when you can't see it, you can find any information. Let's see if we can look up on a phone number or something. We would appreciate it. Commanding units that are at staff report. When you check a residence, 
please give me the numeric and the numbers that have checked it and whether or not you made contact with anybody. Made contact with 1000 Killing Lane. Uh, he checked all his cameras, nothing was on. Uh, no answer at 102 or 103 Killing Lane. 105 answer, hasn't seen it. Uh, nothing on the ring door. And for you're saying 102, is it 1002? 1002, I'm sorry. Did you ask if he had any light purple hoodie? I don't know if the parents are there, but uh, it's on all the feet. It was a light purple hoodie with all the social work on it. Uh, I've just stopped it there because SRB has just said, okay, now see that part right there about White House School. Don't you find it odd that, that this was info they gave that morning, almost alluding to, yes, it got into trouble, so that looks that, so looks that way, yeah, yeah. And some else I didn't understand. She's the mother of an autistic child who's gone missing, right? But you know when the police did that first interview, I think it was the second day, outside that uh, fire station, right? They said they'd spoke to um, emergency, some woman who works for the emergency people for the ambulance people or whoever, who's got an autistic child, and she advised them on how to go about with the search for an autistic child. What to look, what to do and what not to do. Well, would you not ask the parent, the mother, how should we go about this? You know what I mean? What should we be looking for? How would he behave? Yeah, I don't know. I'm wondering if he did go off before and he went to that place before, if he's rang off before and he's gone to that school or tried to make his way there. I don't know. I didn't hear nothing then, but I can go back. Hold on. We'll go back. Sure. Command the unit separate staff report. When you check a residence, please give me the numeric and unit numbers that have checked it and whether or not you made contact with anybody. Made contact with 1000 Killing Lane. Uh, he checked all the cameras, nothing was on. Uh, no answer at 102 or 103 Killing Lane. Right. What they say is there. Right. Uh, they was checking the cameras of the houses. Right of the residents in the house on that uh area. So they're checking their cameras. Yeah, you're not in trouble. Hmm. It's not like we had an argument. I could understand if we had. Why would you be in trouble? Why would you not be in, why would you be in trouble anyway? Why would you have had an argument with him but you didn't? Yeah. The more you listen to these things, the more you pick up on little things. Oh, that's interesting, Bob. CP has a storage shed close to that store. Yeah, we was looking at them storage sheds the other day on the maps. And I said, I hope they've checked all these storage units. Because that was right next to that store. Right? Where a car similar or the same as Kathy Barrow socks was seen.
Well, how far is that school from where they live? Still, Junior's supposed to have some kind of forensics. They'd have to put forensics through if he's got one of there. But do the police know that? Do they know CP's got a storage unit there? Because that's something I've just found out now about that storage unit, that CP has a storage unit there. But I think, seriously, something happened on the Sunday night. Sunday night, Monday morning, early hours. Anyway, we'll get back to this. Answer hasn't seen it. Uh, nothing on the ring door. Yes, Lauren, you're saying 102 is it 1002? 1002, I'm sorry. Did you ask if he had any white purple hoodie? I don't know if the parents are there, but uh, just find out if he owns a white purple hoodie with all the social work on it. Can they ask? Mom doesn't advise this call. Yeah. Um, they were at Dragon Square last night. Uh, just rolling at them. Do you have a unit go there to make sure that he hasn't returned there? Uh, 1015, have ring cameras, but didn't pick up anything. 517, Anderson Villa, excuse me. 1000. Yeah, I need to see. I'm not seeing anything. You're not on the ring doorbell. 1012. Killing lane through 20. All 2012 to go through that hour. The lady at 1032, Kellen, uh, runs the neighborhood Facebook page and she's updating it to request people to look in their cross spaces and hidden areas. Four. Hey, on uh, at 1017 Killing Lane, did y'all happen to check the cross space? I will have to check my list, but it's it. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm, if, there's no, I've always said there's no way he walked out that house. No way, right? So I'm heading now towards the route he would have walked if he was going to Clarksville, to his dad's, right? Because I don't think he walked, but they could have put, took him in the car and put him somewhere in that wooded area. Anywhere along that route towards his dad's. So, like I just said earlier, just so then if he is found there, they can say, well, look at that. He was making his way to his dad's. And he's died of dehydration, hypothermia, you name it. But Steph always, Steph implied that she didn't do a job. She never, she wasn't doing a job properly again. So got, I'll be back to catch up. Got company, so got to get something on my book too. Okay, pop, I'm up. Have fun. <laughs> Wasn't locked from the outside, it was checked. 1,018 Stafford. They are reviewing their camera footage right now. Hold on. Hold he hasn't on. returned there. Oh. 1,015 have ring cameras, but didn't pick up anything. 517 Henderson Villa, excuse me. 1,000 contact and seen anything. You didn't have ring doorbell. <laughs> 1012, Kellen Lane through 20. All 2012 go through that hour. The lady at 1032, Kellen, uh, runs the neighborhood Facebook page and she's updating it to request people to look in their crawl spaces and hidden areas. Four. Hey, on uh, at 1017, Kellen Lane, did y'all happen to check the crawl space? I will have to check my list, but it's it. Wasn't locked from the outside, it was checked. 1018 Stafford, they are reviewing their camera footage right now. Oh, uh, sorry, I thought you said 
1,008, I think it's say. I don't need to check my take me. Cameras check. No. That's fine. 184, you're low volume. I got, I got cameras checked. Okay, well, 1,018. <laughs> I'll be out at uh, St. Missionary, 285. Uh, resident at 1028, Kevin Lane states that he just I saw a kid with a black shirt, black shorts, black shorts, had a phone in his hand coming across the construction. Uh, when he made uh, contact with this gentleman, the subject went straight back to the woods at the top of Kellen Lane. I just talked to him. He's the one helping. Thank you. 12 dollar units. When you're done with your assignment, please come back to 1008 Stafford. 1023, 24, 18 and 16, Stafford, over in cameras, nothing's been cold. Operations have started at Little Den Drive. St. John Baptist is clear all the way along. All the way along, and both both of them are also. Don't make a move. 10 are you going back to Stafford? Um, still on search, but you know what area. 1026, Kelly Wayne, no contact. 1028, no contact, nothing on their cameras. And 10.30, contact, nothing on their cameras, and nothing in the treehouse behind the house. 10.4. 60 command. All houses on Kevin Lane have been checked. Hey, Brad, those woods on that side of uh, Long Hall are weird. we been unable to fly to do the business with the drones. So those big woods that's south of uh, the house, we haven't been able to get just off. All properties on Vandy Wood Court have been checked. We're starting on Honeysuckle now. Yeah, that's 3293, Long Hollow Pike, uh, beyond the creek, and checking out a cave behind the house. I'm almost back to the house, meet my partner. I crawled back into the cave uh, as far as I could go before it got muddy. No footprints, and it's collapsed on in about 10 feet. 10 foot, but you're out of it, correct? Sounds like. Uh, Trooper Grinder has himself and a few troopers. They're going to hit the road outside of our immediate vicinity and just uh, look for him walking down the roadway somewhere. 3301, Long Hollow Pike has been cleared. Stone House, several outbuildings uh, have been cleared. They're unlocked if anyone is going to look. I just sent you the endangered poster. If you can put that on our social media, please. 12 to 188. Please. Did y'all check inside each one of those buses behind TW Hunter? Two four so we checked them all. Okay, well we'll make the three closest to the building. Will you ask Transville to respond to the area of National Pike and Carrying Road? There's a juvenile in that area wearing black pants and a red t shirt. I was shaking back and forth like he had autism that was just reported to us. South side of Long Hollow from Killing Lane to Center Point. It's been checked. Uh, can you check the field houses that are up on top of the hill by the practice field back behind TW Hunter? I don't see that anybody has tracked through there on foot. Pitbull. The barn and my starting location is clear. Residence in barn 3221 Long Hall is clear. And from my starting location to Shackle Island, I've walked the entire creek bed and it appears clear. Myself and 182 have been behind TW Hunter, all the way behind Beach, uh, football field and baseball field, up in the fields, checking through lines all the way to the cemetery behind Beach Road Presbytery. We're still here so far, uh, clear. You myself and 182, we've not made ourselves around to the front of the schools to the south school check. We're still in the back. Very well, we get a long haul flight. Three years. Go ahead, three. The bus and the shed have been checked at 3220. Four. Thank you. Can you and your partner stop at Willow Bend and go house to house to Willow Bend? Check all those, please. See more people have driven through. Yeah, well, every house on Honeysuckle has been checked. People that answered the door have only seen the parish man this morning, nothing else. The White House and Red Barn adjacent to DW Honor, 2105 New Hope, is clear. 
Three, four, seventeen. THB has. I heard something about the trash. Three. The bus and the shed have been checked at thirty-two twenty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you and your partner stop at Willow Bend and go house to house uh, Willow Bend. Check all those, please. See more people are driven through. But it doesn't look like anybody's house to house. Yeah, well, every house on Honeysuckle has been checked. People that answer the door have only seen the trash man this morning, nothing else. So all I saw on that road, which is at the back, over the back of their houses, sort of thing, is a trash van. Okay. So the trash van was out before... Yep, I've noticed that SG. So the trash van was acting about. Okay. The White House and Red Barn adjacent to DW owner twenty one five new open quick. 3417 THP has joined in with myself and 517 on World Band to check out the The big holding pond has been cleared by Hendersonville Fire. They're going to rehab at Shackle Island for a bit, then I go to the one over by the cemetery. Field houses behind the beach, the soccer field's been uh, searched. We're going to head over to the side field house across the street from the fire hall. 106, 108. 110, 112, Willowbrook, all check, no contact with any homeowners. And none of these houses have car crawl spaces. Beach football complex. Are you all still searching that area? Yes, sir. Make contact with a realtor at 114. Hasn't seen him, and all the rooms have been cleared. 116. Made contact with that homeowner. He said he has seen that child walking in the neighborhood in past times, but not recently. So he what? Like I said, he was he was known to go there. So he was known to go to walk around that area, right? I keep hoping law enforcement gets wise to search neighbors' homes. I don't know because I I know where you're going with this, but I think the house they've all been checked. I think all the neighbors' houses have been checked. They've gone into the houses, but then again, have they really checked them? As in checked them. You know what I mean? You don't know, do you? We don't know nothing. We could ask that, like, like a, a, a news report could ask that, say, have you actually been in every house and checked inside every house? And they would stand there and blatantly lie to us and say, yes. So, we only got about another four minutes left of this. Next, the fresh man next has been completely searched. All clear. It's got a beach softball, beach football. It's the one next to the um, beach going church between it and the first man next. It's the main football complex. We are, uh, me and Marshall, back here in the back of the cemetery back here. No contact with anyone, and his truck is not here either. So, thank you, ladies, here trying to get in her driveway in your cars. And, you know, is the key there by chance? It is, but it's locked. Okay. So, she's trying to get in her driveway. Who's trying to get in what driveway? Who's trying to get in the driveway? Had they blocked one of the neighbors' driveways or something?
it could be someone not to recognize but but close yet. Yes, take the dogs through their homes. Unless they've got an allergy towards dogs, then So how is this getting out to the public? How is what getting out to the public duty? Hang on. I know PRs have start, stated the man's red ex-offender lived nearby had an alibi. How close was his house to KP's house? Well, I heard there was two in that area. And when this finishes, I'll show you where I know... Basically, the roundabout whereabouts the one is. I don't know where the other one was. I heard the other one was in one of the roads off by them. But I don't know how true that was. Right, so when this finishes, I'll pull up Google Maps and we'll have a... I'll show you where we haven't the one is supposed to be. Call came in at 6.33 this morning. 6.33 this morning, that call came in. 6.33, not 6.20. So we're looking at 13 minutes difference. From what I understand, it was like 20 minutes away, S SRB. But I don't think it's, a pe uh, it's anyone, anything to do with that. I really don't. So 6.33, the call came in. Hang on. It's not here either. So I think the lady's here trying to get in her driveway in your cars. And, you know, is it key there by chance? It is, but it's locked. Okay. Yeah, she's trying to get in her driveway. Go ahead. We have a process. Call came in at 6.33 this morning. Great, thank you. You may do it, man. We just put another can on the ground at the house. See if we picked up anything. We are breaking off fuel to get off for her fuel. Three fuel. The creek worsens to new check with one hollow in the bridge there, full head check. Where are you? What's your location? I'm looking by 109 in Thornton's right now. I just got a phone call. Kid matching the descriptions, hiding under the bridge, lower station camp behind the market. I'll be en route. I'm close. Is we get somebody else on the other side of uh, the nursery to come down? Uh, she stated that he could be on that side. 446. What was he like in that? Just under the bridge. Uh, she stated that when she went down to turn around, he was gone. 446. Did you talk to the client? Okay, I saw the bridge. Uh, the bridge. Uh, white female, black leggings, I believe. Um, blonde hair. 447, 446. You see any tracks that way? I'm taking the uh, creek See track. 446 to 447. Hold your location, please. I'm on foot now. 10 4. I know they've got the dog up there. The helicopter's coming back to you. Uh, 158 upper station. The residents say the ETA, uh, approximately five minutes ago, somebody walked through that gate right below you. Uh, there's somebody in black. Yeah. There's a deputy at 158. I saw somebody black on the tree line. I don't know if it's one of our guys. Yeah, there's two law enforcement guys walking back here off the tree line. Let's go through there. 12 to 24. How long have they lived in that house? A year. Where were we at before? 
Cambridge Farms, Gal 449 to Remington in Cambridge Farms. White male, gray t shirt, white pants. They didn't get to see his face, kind of shaggy going here. We'll be out at Lower Station, uh, call it and Big Station with the male, white male juvenile on four wheeler in the creek. Who checked out with the juvenile on Station Gallup? This is not going to be our missing juvenile. He's with his father in the creek. I made contact with the male, the caller, and him and Strail called about. It's not our subject. Right, well, that's the end of that. Right? Now, I'll pull up Google Maps and I'll show you where I believe the one was. But, now you just mentioned all that about the P. Right? We know they used to sh put him outside a lot. We know he would walk around the area on his own. Right? In any way, could he have been walking in the, before all this happened, could he have been walking the area where this person has seen him? Right? Now, I'm going to show you where I, I believe, oh no, I, I'm sure it's, right, I've gone too far out right now. But it's round here somewhere. Somewhere round there. I believe. Round this area. It's where I believe the one RSO or whatever they call them, peas, lived. But I also heard, why? That there's one living around here somewhere. Why? Not gonna see on their road, but could be this road, could be this road, this road, this little road, on this part of the housing, because this is where it's got all this. It's more built up now. There's a lot more houses built up there now. Why? Could he have seen? Could this guy? Old person seeing Sebastian walking around the area on his own because we know he didn't have any friends is very gullible because he wants a friend. He wants friends. He just wants a friend. So it could be likely someone has picked him up. You know what I mean? Could be likely his mum put him outside that night. And it's for, I know where my friend lives, I'll go to his. You know what I mean? And he's made his way to his. So, sorry, I wasn't showing the tab. But this is where I was told, from when I seen the map, it was somewhere around here. Somewhere around here, the one lived. But like I'm saying, if I also heard there's one who lived in one of these roads. I don't know how sure, how definite that was. But, like I said, he could have made, he, he only wanted friends. And people like Sebastian are so vulnerable and if this person is seeing him go hi there right and just start talking to him in general right that could have happened no no Ellie um the where I've pointed out where that supposed got pedo lived was round this way somewhere right 
Now to go to his dad's. Hold on, I'm gonna put it in here. I meant to do it the other night, I didn't do it today. The wrong up too. Copy. Nice. Right. Right, now that's where they live. I'm a I'm sure it's going here walking, but it, we know he's walking, right? But he, he would go the route he knows by car. Right? Now, I can't see him taking this route. But then again, possibly. This route is quicker. The dark blue route is quicker. But as I said, there's that one here. And it's one hour, 14 minutes to go. Right? But I really, really now think because the way she keeps nudging him every time he mentions where the dad, where Seth lives. I don't know if they have covered that area in their searches. But look at this though, just, you know what I mean? Where could they hide a body? Where could they not hide a body? There's plenty of places around it. Look. You know what I mean? Look at the terrain. Right? It's so all open fields and some houses here, but it go by the road, it go by the main road, so whichever way he knew, yeah, that is the route he would take. Sorry, I, I keep forgetting that, right? Dark and silhouette of about three people, one wearing a silhouette of a bum on the back of a head, whether Right. I have looked at that video and it is the same video with the lights that was released by Nick Berris, right? That camera footage came from one zero zero one. Stafford Court. That video footage came from 1001 Stafford Court. As soon as I seen that video, that light video, I went, I know what house that, fo that camera footage is from. I knew straight away. However, in that other one where they've zoomed in at these, um, you know, the, the um, security lights you have on a house on the outside. They've zoomed into those security lights. And they're saying it's from 1017 or 1018 Stafford Court Lane, pointing down towards CP and KP's house where the garages are. I thought, no, it's not. That Footage is from 1001 Stafford Court Lane. It's from that house. It's not from a house further up the road. Law enforcement said it was from that house. I clicked on as soon as, even before law enforcement said anything, I said, I know where that house is. I know what footage, where that footage came from. I just knew. By, I don't know how long I just knew it was that house. And then law enforcement come out and said, or someone come out and said it was 1001, right? And then we've seen the full video and you've got the cars in it on the driveway 
and those cars belong to that house on 1001 Stafford Court Lane. So, and you zooming on anything, there's trees bashing about in the wind. You gotta get, you can see all sort of figures if you want. You know what I mean? If law enforcement come out in the future and say, no, that footage is from 1017 or 1018 Stafford Court Line, then I'd go, okay, that video is plausible. You know what I mean? But at the moment, it's not plausible. And I'll show you why in a minute. Some people do feel it's very strong. It's, if you look at it, it does show a struggle, but it's... Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Right. Right, I am going to go into Google Maps, right? Ah, okay. Back up to... Where is the house? Here. Right. Oh, come on. Oh, God, you messed about with me, little man. Oh, you've gone to the wrong part. Ugh. Oh. I'm going to show you the house with that camera footage, that very first camera footage that Nick Berries put out. Right. Here. There's the camera. Right. There's the camera. Right. And it's pointed quite low, at quite a low angle. Right. Now, on that video, when you see the full video, you see, hold on, right, you will see all these cars parked here, and that video shows us the lights round about here, right, about here, not here. Right, I'd say they're over here, and the big lights you see on that video are the security lights on this house, or the garage lights. You've got some big lights, and I said, oh, what are those big lights? They look like car lights. And someone said, no, they're the security lights, the house lights. Right? But I think now they're the garage lights. Now, you can't see here if they've got garage lights. Right, but there's, there's, they could have security lights. Oh, well, they have, have they got garage lights there? I don't know. Could they be garage lights? Possible. Right, so if they're the lights, then I could understand those lights. Yep. So you've got lights on that house, right? And then round about here, right, you've got that camera coming down here. Yeah? So it's coming across here. The one light is a stationary light, right? It doesn't move. It looks like it's moving because when the person don't took the video, what they've done, they've got the security foot, the, the video footage on the screen. They then got their phone and just screen was just videoing the corner, the top right hand corner of the video. Right? So all we saw was like the two B 
big lights and two little lights and it looked like the one was moving but you try holding your phone while recording you, you your hands move they move up and down right so one of the lights is off this house right I'm not trying to say it was a garbage truck I, I, I still don't think it's a garbage truck and the other light was round here Right? It's round here somewhere. Right, now, please. Right? I'm going, I'm going to go back. You cannot see Seth's... Ha uh, Chris, I'm not sticking up for them. Don't believe I am. You cannot see their house from here on that camera. You can't. Right, so unless law enforcement come out and say, yes, that video footage came from this house, like 1017 or 1018, then it, it can't be, it can't be, because they've zoomed in on the two lights here. On that video, there's like this house security lights there. They've zoomed in on those two lights so, so close into those two lights. Branches, you've got tree branches. You may not have any leaves on the trees, but you've got branches. If the wind is blowing, it can make anything look like someone's moving. You can make anything look like there's someone fighting with the tree branches and whatever. It really can. So... Until I get confirmation of law enforcement to say, yes, this video was took from 1017 or 1018 Stafford Court, it cannot be true because it was took from 1001 Stafford Court. Some of those workers at that construction site, I wonder how many are still working there after all this who left, who stayed, and who has a record. But you know what got me about that as well? Right? Hold on. It does look like a ruckus, Ellis. Um, I admit it does, but it can't be from this angle. You cannot see their garage from that camera. And that camera is pointed at quite a low angle. So, but if they say to me, yes, it's 1017, if law enforcement says, yes, 117, where that video came from, or 118, Stafford Court, then I'll go, oh, that video's got, there's some plausibility in that video. But not while it's coming from 1001, Stafford Court, there's no way can it be that their house. Yes, SG, there's more opinions and more speculation. And that's why I won't talk, I don't like talking about that video because it's too many people have just gone into it and zoomed in on the lights and and there's no evidence to say anything happened. I'm sure if it came from 1017 or 1018, they would be zooming in on those garages, right? If they thought there was anything happening, they would be looking at that video very, very closely, right? Hi, Jessica. I agree. I totally agree with you. What's the possibility is, though, they actually took a video from a different direction at another place, not necessarily from Proudfoot's? Hmm. You see, I was... the actual video came from this house, yeah? Came from this house here. 
Because when you see the full video, you see all these cars in front of the camp. When you look at the full video, you can see all the cars parked up, right? And you can see like a boat and things like that on the drive, right? Now, on that one where they've zoomed right in, they say it's coming from a house. I'm going. Right up here. Mm hmm where is he? I think this is the house just coming up to it now. This house. And they're saying the video is coming from this camera. There's a camera up there, right? Now, from that angle, I'm going back a bit go down just go down you would see their garages right so it is it could be plausible but it can't be plausible if that video of those lights and everything came from the house the residence of one zero zero one Stafford Court, because you can't, it's right round the bend, you can't see their house, you can't see the garage, but if it came from this house, 116 Stafford Court, then it's plausible. But until I get confirmation that it came from 116 or whatever, then I'm sticking with what I know, which is 1001 Stafford Court. What a hot mess this is. Yeah, I know. No, I meant to say, not just putting a private, maybe another. Yeah, it could have been another house. It may not have been the private house it was putting that video. But it can't. That video, when it first came out, right? If you all go back, I'll show you that video tomorrow night. I'll show you both videos tomorrow night. Right? Um, if you go and look at that video, you'll see that it can't be 116. Right? It's 1001. It has right on the corner. Okay, so you go back there. Hmm. So it's like someone said uh, the other week on your Facebook page, and I, I, I corrected them, and this woman comes back to me and said, "You are right." Because this woman put something about the gate, right? And they said, uh, apparently law enforcement said that they came out and the dog tracked up here, right? Tracked up there and along the fencing and around into Kelly, Kelly Lane. And I went, no, 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 no. No, 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 I said. The dog's tracked. From the front door went to the left. Right? I went to the left. Down there, around the back of this house, this house, around the back of this house, right? All the way down. So we've got, we've got to go all the way down. Right? And So it come all the way around the back of this house and along this way to the end of the road and up here. And this woman come back and said, yes, you're right. So you've got to be careful what you read because some people are putting out some information that is not correct. And I go through, that's what 
annoys me. I go through Facebook. There's two Facebook pages, well, three, and there's so much misinformation being put out there. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying just be careful what you put out there because you check your facts. You know what I mean? And I know they said because this is that is what CP said. And you know that guy who sticks up for Nick, uh, CP, that other YouTuber? Grey Hughes is his name. Right? He actually had it on the map. Right? And um, he actually pulled it up on the map. All right. And you've got a, a line going from here, down around here, round here, round there, and all, all up here. Because, and he showed it to Chris, and Chris said, that's correct. That's the way the dogs led. But the way the woman was trying to say on this Facebook page was that the dogs come out of the backyard, come up here, and cut through here somewhere, where there's no fencing. Somewhere along here, they, where they cut through. Either here or here. But there's no fencing into Kelling Lane. I went, no, that's not true. So I I, did, I thought, I don't care if people say, how do you know that? And I'll just said, well, here's the links. You know what I mean? And I gave them all the links to the YouTube channel and everything, even though I don't like that Gary Gray Hughes, I mean. I'm not keen on him. But I gave them the links to his channel so they could see for themselves. So, it is a hot mess. Workers could be a figment of a... Thank you. It, as I said, you imagine... It's like... Playing puppets with your fingers with, in the shadows, yeah? Right? you got a light you, and your hands doing the puppety things with, on the background. And all you see is your shadow of your fingers doing all these different shapes and figures and everything. That's what trees can do in a light. If you've got a light behind trees, even if it's just branches, and you zoom in, your imagination can take over. You can say, oh my God, look at that. You know what I mean? But it's from the wrong house. They say, and I must admit, the YouTuber then did go on, did go back and say, and look at this house. And I thought, well, if you know it's coming from that house, then it can't be true, can it? It can't be true. If she knows it's coming from that house, then... It can't be true what they're saying about how it's coming from. Is it this house? So either this house or this house. Right, down. I think it's this house. Right, so she knows the south thing. It can't be, can't be true. Because she was talking about, she mentioned this house here and the garage and the cars and the boat. And then she mentioned that gazebo thing there. Right. There's a house that's got a gazebo. There, this gazebo. She mentioned that. I thought, well, if you know, if you're talking about these cars being on that, that drive and this gazebo, then you know there's no way that ruckus, that could be a ruckus at their garage because you can't see their garage. So, well, that's just my opinion. That's just what... I believe, right? But I'm going on the information and the facts that have been put out there about those that video 
and about the lights and everything and where the footage came from. So, I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, this is a hot mess of a case and it's now 2 hours 22 minutes. I need an early night tonight after last night. So I'm going to say good night to you all. Thank you for being here with me. And I will be back tomorrow. And we'll look at both those videos. The one with the lights, well, both the light videos, right? The one which is the very spot out there and the one that's been zoomed in and zoomed in and zoomed in. Okay? We'll look at both of them tomorrow night, even though I don't want to, but we will. But we'll look at them tomorrow. So, till then, I'll say good night.